Hi guys, so I'm back and this is... The guys are high. Yes, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this is a continuation of the issue with the chest not giving me my stuff. Um, and unfortunately and yet fortunately it did take me going across multi types of multimedia and social media from Facebook to Twitter to YouTube to get the attention of someone at um, Pocket Gems to resolve the situation. Um, and at the end of this, I will post the remaining part of the message so that you will, between the two videos you will see exactly the conversation that finally resolved things. Um, but to start off with, they did resolve this. Uh, they did provide me with the 12,000 rubies um, as well as um, 53 hour speed ups. They continued to claim that I was credited for all of my gold chests but 10 plus 1 bonus. Um, I disagree with that. Um, they claimed you were only out 10 chests, but you were out the contents of 3 sets of 10 yeah. chests. Um, I disagree with <laughs> that still, um, but they did give me the 12,000 rubies. Um, so, and I do believe that either they couldn't figure out exactly what went wrong or how many chests I wasn't credited with, so they just gave me the 12,000 rubies. Um, but I doubt they would have given me the 12,000 rubies unless... Yeah, there was a germane reason for it. What? What I wanted to say was we did have to kind of raise a little bit of hell because I went into a league chat mm -hmm. and brought this to the attention and quite a few people said to me from various teams um, that they had experienced Mm -hmm. The same problems. I, I mentioned one of the emails that was uh, in the previous video. I also noticed one of the comments uh, for um, our video with the big problems. Mm -hmm. There's another player who plays Clash of the Clans, so he could relate to the things I was saying, but I actually played Clash Royale, but that, yeah. that was a part two of that game anyway. Um, so, yeah, he could relate. He's a level 81 player. I mean, his comment is posted up on the video. Mm -hmm. We actually had a surprisingly good response in uh, less than 24 hours. We had over five dozen responses, 60-something, uh, five, five dozen views. But what I was going to say was, so I went in leak chat, I went in team chat, I kind of got people a little bit, if not off in arms, and certainly to notice what's going on. And there was some, yeah, positive yeah. response. And... Uh, one of the players I was speaking to, uh, whom I met in uh, league chat, said that in the future, mm -hmm. if you have problems with their teams, their support team, you should ask for Jared. In yes. fact, that's what we're going to name this video. I hope we're not creating problems for Jared, but if he's the one who gets things done, well, then he should get his credit due for actually being somebody who gets things done and set an example for other members of the technical support team, because yeah. it's not really fair that only one person should have to deal with 80% of the problems. And actually, it was Jared, and you'll see in the message at the end, that did deal with this situation and actually come up with the resolution and did actually do some legwork into this. Um, and I wanted to read his last thing. He said to me, um, I'm glad you were able to, I was able to help. Just a reminder that you did receive a vast majority of the items from your chest you opened. And uh, in the future, if you feel there is ever an issue with support, ask for your issue to be escalated and to be given to a lead um, and up to and including the department head me. Uh, my thing is, I would agree with yeah, that. Yeah, he has pull over there. I'm sorry. Yeah. He has pull and he does get things done. Uh, and I would agree with that. My whole thing about that was, how am I supposed to do that, ask for it to be escalated when... You get template the, responses well, and they no, keep no, on closing the, the threads. Yeah, the, yeah, when three of the four tickets were just a template response and it's automatically closed. Um, how are you supposed to escalate something? That is definitely something I think that Pocket Gems needs to work on because um, there would have been no way for me to ask for this to be escalated with that as their policy is to auto respond and close a ticket. And of four tickets uh, the last two days, three of them were auto responded and closed. Uh, there is also a um, complaint about this happening in the forums and I noticed that the forums are not accepting comments on that thread. That's a very interesting, yeah, that's a very interesting point. When she looked up that thread in the forum about, yeah, just mm -hmm. auto closes mm -hmm. and automated responses, yeah, you couldn't respond. That thread was cut off. So, it, clearly that might be something Pocket Gem wants, wants to look into um, with their customer service reps, um, but I do have to say that Jared did do some legwork. It is surprising the amount of legwork they wanted me to do. 
Um, and so with that, I want to give some advice. Uh, if you do have a problem with the game, I would say the first thing you need to do before you ever even restart the game is do a screenshot or record on the game. And that's pretty simple with um, most Android devices now. There is going to be this little orange thing on the screen, which will pop up. You can't see it on that right now, but... You pop this up. You pop this up, and it pops up a screen. No, I you can't see. It's not yeah. appearing, but there's a green button you no, can press. No, it's not green. It's orange. Orange, excuse me. Orange, yeah. It's an orange button that you don't press. You pull it, and then that, then allows, that, you that allows you to have a sub menu, and then that sub menu, mm -hmm. there's a green record button. And you can record yeah. off of that, and you can screenshot off of that. So my first thing is you should take a screenshot of your... Um, but how many people are going to actually systematically do that? And also, after you opened your chests, and you didn't get the contents, or you got the contents on the screen, but they didn't add to your inventory... How are you even going to prove that? Well, Would that's what, I, what I'm saying. It's like, and what I did and what really saved me was once I realized there was a problem and I went in and tried to use those um, speed ups, I did a screenshot. And that's what really, I think, saved this whole situation was I sent them that screenshot. I was like, no, this is what happened. And then once I rebooted and nothing was there, I did another screenshot. Uh, to show that that was, again, there was the lumber packs weren't open, uh, weren't available, and the speed-ups weren't available. Um, and then right before I bought a gold chest uh, pack, and I do this now every time I buy a pack because of what happened in February, and them not giving me the contents uh, one because they said, oh, you know, we gave it to someone else and they used it, and that the receipt from Google wasn't enough proof that I didn't get the items, even though they said they gave them to someone else. So now every time I buy um, a pack, I screenshot my face beforehand, and while I'm in there, that shows all of your stuff at the bottom of the store. And then if I didn't get anything, and I've always since then gotten everything, I would screenshot again. So um, because I do that, I had that screenshot as well, which again, um, showed the progression of what my packs were and everything. Um, and then w throughout the complaints and stuff like that, and I knew since I was knew, knew this was going on I kept, and hadn't been resolved, I kept screenshotting my base um, so they could clearly see what I was doing. And I would have backup. And I would highly recommend if you have an ongoing issue with them that you take these steps. Two okay. things I wanted to say. What you're bringing up, People were saying they were doing it, but after a while, they just considered it maddening to have to do the screenshots all the time. Yeah. Some people still aren't going to do it. Some people do it meticulously. I do it sometimes, not always. Uh, second important thing I wanted to say, uh, I don't know how many more people are in my boat, but for a long time, you weren't getting full credit, or in some cases, even any credit towards your island defense by upgrading your ice and fire cannons. And as a result of that, if you had a good number of them on your base, and I have four, almost level 40, uh, yeah, I was undercut a great deal of defense because right now I barely have over 33 million boosted, mm -hmm. and uh, it sounds like a lot, but considering I was working, you know, about 8 million short of what I should have had. I honestly think that that should be a completely different video. Okay, and, and something, the we might bring that up for the third video that deals with technical problems technical here, but just something problems. to deal, uh, keep in mind in the future. If your bases are underpowered, it's not necessarily due to a faulty construction. Sure, sure. If you weren't getting full credit for your ice and fire cannons, and there's we'll also, come back to it. And there's also some stuff in the forums that I kind of want to bring up if we're going to do that. Because I think it's a good point. There are a number of things in the forums about what's not being calculated on your base, and pathogens does know about this. And there's also the disparity between what you see on your base, your mm -hmm. teammates see on your base, and the other players, the opposition. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll see on your base. And that includes firepower and defense, but that's for the next video. Anyway, guys, basically, take care. I mean, we can make this longer, but it's already almost yeah. done. Yeah. So, what I suge my suggestions, again, are if you know there's an issue, screenshot your base. Continue to screenshot your base periodically until the issue is resolved. And don't give up. I'm sorry. Um, that might mean going onto the forums, uh, league chat, emailing your team leader, um, going onto Facebook and Twitter and uh, YouTube 
But if you really think you were cheated and they, you really feel like they've stolen them from you like I did, it's apparent that the only way to get them to pay attention is to make a stink. Well, you have to if you get ignored, like Teddy said, right? Carry a big stick, speak softly, you will go afar. You still need the big stick. Can't speak softly, will never be heard. They have gone far enough. And on that note, if you have a problem, like I said, call Jared. And hopefully this video was of some use. Yep. Take care, guys.
tip was good. If you like the tip, if you don't know the tip, check it out. There's also Duckman. Duckman? Duckman. It was good. I'm serious. It's like one of those coffee. Oh, I've seen that. You, you, did you see it? Yeah. I it was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. You can get the full uh, five or six season thing on eBay now for 50 bucks, but it's worth it. You know? A lot of that shit was taken down because it was a little too controversial, like the early Archer episodes. The early Archer, not the latter one. The latter one fucking went to pot.